In a world where weariness often overtakes us, the call to persist in doing good can feel like a daunting challenge. Getting weary is something that comes naturally to all of us. We can start things off strongly, but somewhere down the line, weariness comes in. What we were passionate about becomes something we lose interest in and even disdain. But we must not get weary in doing good. We must fight to remain passionate about doing good. We need to constantly check ourselves and make sure that we don't get tired and weary as we do good. To put it simply, growing weary means exhausted in strength, endurance, vigor, or freshness. Our minds wander, our hearts grow weary, and we lose interest. These are the things we need to look out for. It's in those times we need to look to God for help and strength, because in the book of Isaiah it says, Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might he increases strength. Even youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40 verses 28 to 31 When we get weary, we need to run to God for strength to keep going because there is a lot we need to do. He doesn't get weary. He doesn't faint. So when we get faint and weary, we know that we can go to Him, and He will strengthen us to continue doing the good works that He has planned for us from the beginning of time. But why should we not get weary in doing good? We have the answer in the book of Galatians. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap, if we do not give up. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 The word is very clear here. You should not grow weary in doing good, because God has a reward for you if you keep going, if you do not give up. No matter how hard it gets, keep doing good works. Don't quit doing what God has told you to do. There will be a reward for you as you keep at it. It says in due season you will reap. It may seem you have been doing good for a long time with no reward yet, but God is faithful and he will reward you in due time if you do not give up. And that is important. No matter how difficult it becomes, don't give up. No one may see what you do, but remember that God sees and that's all that matters. His reward is far better than what any person can give you. Just don't give up. The enemy doesn't want you to reap good things. He doesn't want you to receive what God has for you. He knows how much your good works will impact the people around you. In the book of Nehemiah, we see how God called Nehemiah to go and rebuild the wall of Jerusalem, which was broken down. He obeyed the call of God, and went to do his good work. But it was a lot and there was opposition. The enemies of Israel didn't like that. Someone was rebuilding the walls again. So they threatened the people who were working and to top that off, there was a lot of rubble which was making the people weary. And we prayed to our God and set a guard as a protection against them day and night. In Judah, it was said, the strength of those who bear the burdens is failing. There is too much rubble. By ourselves, we will not be able to rebuild the wall. Nehemiah chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. But they kept at it and never gave up. Even though the work was a lot and the enemy was constantly opposing them, they managed to finish the wall with the Lord's help. So the wall was finished on the 25th day of the month Elul, in 52 days. And when all our enemies heard of it, 
All the nations around us were afraid and fell greatly in their own esteem, for they perceived that this work had been accomplished with the help of our God. Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 16 We all get exhausted, we all get weary and tired, but the good news for us is that we have somewhere to turn. There is someone we can turn to for clarity, direction, and strength. We are not left to drum it up from within. We know the one who does not faint or grow weary. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, when we get weary in doing good, we call on you who does not faint or get weary. We ask for your strength and help to accomplish all the good work you have given us. When we feel like giving up, we remember that you will reward us in due season. You see the good work we do, and that is great news. Your word in Corinthians says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58 There is a purpose behind the good work you have called us to do. Help us to see that, big picture constantly. People's lives will be impacted as we keep doing what you tell us to do. Our lives will be blessed in ways we cannot see and understand right now as we are consistent in doing the good work you have for us. We need patience and endurance as we work. Help us not to be distracted by other things and help us to be focused on the main things. We trust in you, Lord, and by faith we will keep working knowing that you are being glorified and we are growing as we obey you. We know that doing good can be exhausting, but we also know that you have called us to a higher purpose. We seek your strength and encouragement today drawing from the well of your word that provides life and hope. Lord, we recall the words of Paul to the Colossians. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. May this verse be our guide and motivation in all we undertake. Help us to do everything with gratitude and in your name, knowing that our efforts are for your glory and not for human praise. When we feel tired, remind us that our work is an offering to you. We ask for your strength to fill us when we are weary and your power to uplift us when we feel weak. You are our source of strength and we trust that you will provide what we need to continue our good works. In those moments when we question the value of our efforts, let us remember the words of Jesus in Matthew. Let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Help us to shine brightly for you, Lord. Let our actions and good deeds reflect your love and bring glory to your name. Even when recognition seems distant, we take comfort in knowing that our ultimate goal is to honor you. When we face discouragement and opposition, remind us of the perseverance of the early believers. As written in Hebrews, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 Grant us the endurance to run this race, shedding the weights that hold us back and pushing forward with determination. We are not alone in this journey. We are surrounded by a community of faith and the witnesses who have gone before us. Let their example inspire us to keep moving forward. Father, 
We know that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Remind us of the promise found in Corinthians. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 24 to 25. Give us the steadfastness to endure trials, knowing that there is a crown of life awaiting us. Your promises are true and your rewards are eternal. Let this truth be a beacon of hope that keeps us motivated and unwavering in our commitment to doing good. We also find solace in the comforting words of Jesus. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. John chapter 14 verse 27 Lord, grant us your peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. When our hearts are troubled and fear creeps in, let your peace calm our spirits and renew our resolve. We trust in your presence and your promise to be with us always. Thank you for being our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. We rest in your promises and lean on your everlasting arms. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.